Hello everyone, this is Derek Smith, the Cyber Professor, and I have a video that I want you to watch, and it talks about ATM skimmers. Um, it's my duty to make sure that the public knows about the different types of things out here around cybersecurity that can hurt you, and hopefully my videos will be beneficial for you to try to avoid these things. So anyone can fall victim to these ATM skimmers. If you don't watch this video, you will never know what these things look like and how they work. So again, check out this video and um, learn a little bit more about cybersecurity. And again, my name is Derek Smith. I am the author of CyberSense and the CyberSense Action Plan. If you want to learn more about cybersecurity, pick these up at Amazon.com. All right, enjoy the video. Also new tonight, an alert about something most of us use fairly regularly, the ATM. Well, a Metro Atlanta woman who used one recently discovered a skimmer attached to the card reader. The devices can give identity thieves access to your bank account, but the night team's Dante Renzulli wanted to show you exactly how they work. Tonight, he demonstrates how to spot one of these skimmers in action. Just like this, an identity thief can attach a card skimmer to an ATM and steal the bank account information of every person who visits afterward. It's happening a lot more often than people are catching it. Some might be worried they'll break a real card slot if they check for a skimmer too roughly. But police say that would be hard to do. You certainly don't want to use like a tire iron, but you can go up and just pull on it. Coweta County Lieutenant Jason Fetner is investigating a recent case where a woman found a skimmer at this ATM on Highway 34 between Noonan and Peachtree City. Fetner suggests everybody should do their own check before using a machine like this one. You're not going to damage or destroy an ATM by pulling on it and, and checking to make sure there's nothing wrong with it. He says affixing the skimmer too tightly would take extra time, and the thief generally wants to put this on and be gone in a matter of seconds. If he spends 25 minutes at the ATM installing it, the police are going to get called. And it's not just the ATM where this is happening. The gas station is another big place to worry about. Now, police say that this should be part of every gas pumping routine before you put your card in this slot. Give a good yank on the area immediately around it. You should be able to pull it off with just your hand alone, no tools necessary. But if you're still not sure, take a good look at the area all around the keypad to make sure there's no little cameras pointing at it. It's going to be small, a lot smaller than a typical surveillance camera. And it might be underneath here or under here. Identity thieves can use your card numbers a lot more effectively if they also have the zip code or PIN number that goes with them. There's as many different types of card skimmers as there are machines to blend in with, so there's no one thing to look for. Physically pulling on them is the only way to know for sure. I'm Dante Renzulli, CBS 46 News, 19.